back to the channel so i brought you an update on afanya jan in the previous video i talked about the fact that the gfa had tagged him as unavailable and uh, i didn't give more details into why he is unavailable well i have details uh, what happened what ensued why henry asante chum initially had said that afanya jan would be available for the ghana black stars and what happened in those ensuing hours that we have him now unavailable we're going to look at that today we're also going to talk about Hazakes ladies and the amazing run in the calf women's champions league the maiden edition of the calf women's champions league they have qualified for the semi-final stages of the eight uh, member nation tournament uh, in egypt for the very first time and the Hazakes ladies are really really ripping teams apart in this competition i have to say i've not talked about them enough and today we're going to talk about them and why they did not form majority of the team members in the ghana black queen squad that were eliminated by nigeria in the recent qualifiers for the afcon women's cup of nations and also possibly for the world cup in 2023 as usual subscribe if you have not uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates so i'll start off from the women as they say ladies first and the african women's champions league calf women's champions league is taking place for the very first time in africa here and it's being held in egypt ghana has a representative in azakas ladies uh, who won the wafu zone b competition uh, to make a qualification bet into this tournament they are ripping the records coach you see basigi's side are doing amazingly well after winning 3-1 in their very first game versus equatorial guinea side uh, malabo uh, kings they went on uh, to beat uh, monday of mali uh, 3-0 yesterday evelyn bedu once again uh, getting on the score sheet uh, she was named the woman of the match and, uh, and gave praises to her mother as a mother in africa allowing her daughter to go out there to play football she has to be commended for that and her daughter is shining on the biggest of stages for the women's team hazakes ladies doing ghana proud in the process hazakes ladies are now through to the semi-final and will wait for the rest of the games to be played to determine who they will face in the semis the final round of games will be played mind you to determine which where each country will finish but they are secured they are semi-final berth the coach you see basigi they, he talked about them eyeing a place in the crown tie versus as mandy and uh, they did just that taking full control of the game two goals in the first half and uh, eventually a third one in the second half secured all three points for them in that game uh, the Hazakas ladies team are in the semis of the Maiden Calf Women's Champions League. The two ladies uh, won their first group game, uh, rushing aside Malabo Kings 3-1. Uh, Bedu's goal, Hevlin, came on both sides of Perpetua Ejekum's free kick, uh, which was also her second of the tournament showpiece. Hazakas ladies become the first team to qualify uh, to the last four of the competition with one game to spare. Bedu continued her fine form a winning woman of the match for the second consecutive game the striker scored two goals against as monday uh, to con become the top scorer of the competition which is currently going on in egypt a uh, coach you see basigi who is the head coach of the side is uh, setting up and evelyn is looking forward to becoming the woman of the match for the third uh, game in a row uh, when they play in their final game the hazakas ladies midfielder evelyn bedu says she's hoping to clinch the woman of the match award for the third time in their last group game of the maiden edition of the calf women's champions league bedu was awarded the award for the second time after scoring two goals on monday as hazakas ladies beat as monday at 3-0 she scored a goal in each half of the game as the Ghanaian side thumbed the malian counterparts at 3-0 speaking after the game the midfielder expressed her excitement for her side's victory while also revealing her desire to take home the third mvp in the final group game i'm so excited to have won the player of the match for the second time today i scored twice again 
I'm praying and hoping I can win it for the third time, she said. Having scored a brace in the opening game against Malabo Kings, her goal yesterday means she is a top scorer, shining on the biggest of stages. Let's have a listen to her speech after the game yesterday versus uh, AS Monday. Thank you, thank you. What does it mean to you? Oh, thank the Almighty God again. I present this, this award to my teammates, my technical team, my coach, that's my uncle, my mom, Madame Zwata Kusuyabuaje. Mom, I love you. I'm extremely excited today to win player of the match twice again. Yeah, I scored twice today again. I, I'm, I'm happy to We are praying and hoping for that too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. Thank you. So you heard Evelyn Beidou, Evelyn Beidou there, uh, so excited by that and uh, congratulations to Azakis ladies, which begs the question, why, why, why were they not forming a majority of the team that played versus Nigeria for the Black Bulls? Well, I have two answers for that and one of them is that um, reports, this is according to what I, I found out after doing my own digging is that uh, the coach of the Ghana Black Queens, Mercy Tego Kwaku, is also the coach of Berry Ladies. And if you see the squad that was called up by her, it was dominated by Berry Ladies team members. Not to suggest that she was being um, sort of favoritism or nepotism or nepotic in her selections, but you can leave that interpretation to yourself. It also could be for the fact that uh, Hazakis Ladies during that time we're preparing for the tournament that we are currently experiencing and could not afford to have their players play but it should have been dominated by them nonetheless it would have been a good warm-up for them heading into this tournament and i think uh, going forward this should be the main call imagine evelyn Bedu was not part of the ghana black queens the side that played in those two qualifiers so imagine if she wasn't there imagine if uh, most of them were in there for the Ghana Black Queens who could have been facing or could have been going through to the next stage of the qualifiers but hey those are ifs and maybes and those don't work in the world of football and we are not there but we wish them the very best hope they can go all the way and win the competition my final story has to do with uh, Afenye Jan. Afenye Jan uh, has been called up uh, to the Ghana was called up to the Ghana Black Stars team on Monday but unfortunately could not honor that call up every explanation has been forthcoming as to why he has not been called up it was revealed that he would probably be able to make it Harry asante chum spokesperson of the ghana football association said that he could make it and they had not received any communique from Roma saying otherwise well when i brought you the squad in the previous video i noted that fenge chan would not be able to make it and he is one that is unavailable an explanation is forthcoming and it says that yes roma uh, starlet will not make it for the squad versus ethiopia roma director tiago pinto spoke to the gfa i think his camp argues he needs some time to settle at the club he's ready to play for ghana but the timing is not uh, suitable and that is why we are not going to see him make his debut possible debut for the ghana black stars and uh, he will not be there although it was stated otherwise by fa spokesperson so that has been it for today congratulations to hazakes ladies who are doing ghana proud at the international stage they are through to the semi-finals of the maiden cup women's champions league evelyn Bedu, uh, the star woman of the tournament so far i think Jan and why he is unavailable for the ghana black stars i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day Bye.